Living off the land. Welcome to Living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onion southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. And sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Our luck is poor. It does influence a number of things, like our odds of finding treasure chests when we fish. This will be another fishing day. Tomorrow definitively will not be. We'll go fish somewhere else, though. Our weather report for the 5th. Beautiful sunny day. Okay. It's worth keeping in mind that crops will need to be watered. Time will be taken on that. Parsnips will be ready tomorrow, too. We'll be keeping a few of those on hand. Instead of, uh... Well, not. Pretty sure we'll, uh, be up at farming level one after this harvesting. I think the load of 15 parsnips you would get otherwise on another farm. Besides this one, would get you to level one. I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. That's right, we can't cook anything we've learned yet. Like Dish of the Sea, until we get a kitchen. You know, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Yay, feeling at home. Awesome. I don't have any other mix seeds laying in there. That's okay. There's a lot of other things that buy for your time on the 5th. That's okay. You are doing great. Good work, little chickies. Be free. Not that free. <laughs> free adjacent. <laughs> adjacent to free. <laughs> Let's not get carried away here. Anyway, if you take a look at our convenient tracker here. Uh, see, we've already gifted Haley two gifts this week. We're at a full heart with her. We have not spoken with her. So we'll decay slightly if I don't speak with her. That's okay. Leave her wanting more. That's, that's how it goes. I don't want to get too carried away here. Seem like I'm eager. One nice thing about this game compared to, say, the original Harvest Moon, you can accidentally move away from something and not have to put in full effort back into, say, chopping it down. As much as I enjoyed that game when I was younger, I've experienced so much better in my, my time since. I wouldn't play that game again, except for like a novelty piece. Got a houseplant as decoration? What? Did I actually, no, no, I couldn't have actually picked up something in my own house. Huh. Interesting, I mean, cool, bound to hate it. <laughs> All right, one more, one more tree. No, we're collecting experience for foraging, which is not a useless thing. Okay. I think that'll be fine. We'll take the rest of this energy with us. Now, do I want to buy any more seeds? And if so, what flavors of seed would I like to buy? How much farming do I intend to do, particularly with this limited space right here? I don't have any strong plan for it. Just play by ear. Okay, I believe I don't believe I can sell decorations. No, they're just decorative. Here, and go live with the other plant. Have fun with that. Pause the game as I give it some thought. I do have the wood to make another chest. Yours is open. 
swing by there, like, kind of intended to go do some other things tomorrow. But there's no rush. I don't have to. Might also be misremembering a couple of things. I did say I was thinking about wooden paths here, too. Hmm. But my wood. But, but time that I'd have to spend to decorate. <laughs> here we go, the eternal battle and efficiency and... <laughs> and comfy. It's happening again. You go here, you go here, you go here. Let's head to Pierre's. Something you can easily do in a, in a multiplayer game is division of labor. Although you don't get the advantage of pausing during menus and cutscenes, you can outsource work to other, uh, other farmers. Oh, there's a request today. So I definitely did gather wood today. My eye is twitching though, because I think it only counts wood that has been gathered after I accept this request. And I already kind of piled wood on top of other wood. And looking at my energy levels here, I'm kind of like, eh. So, beans. Beans are the type of crop that uh, you get multiple harvests from. Uh, however, they are on a trellis. You cannot walk through those spaces. Considering the location of like my arable land to where the water is, I'm thinking about maybe I want to put a well down. I have to look at the price of that, which means I'll be visiting Robin. Also considering things like my gold availability for festivals, for purchasing other things, where I want to go and what I want to be with that. So it doesn't look like I'm going to need crops on hand like beans and potatoes for bundling based on where I've remuxed into. Pick five. My money! No, my ability to buy a bag! No! Brother, <laughs> you don't sound that devastated. Yeah. These things happen. Okay. It's gonna be annoying to waste my time traveling up here and uh, it not actually satisfy her. I'm gonna make ah fuck it, the full four field snacks that I can. I was gonna use these later. No. Put this pole away. We have other work that we're doing, I guess. Yeah, okay. I see. Curse you concerned ape in your... <laughs> in your design. All right, cool. I think it could be any wood that we delivered to her, though. It just has to be... We just have to satisfy that. And there's a number of other things that are like, this must be freshly squeezed, or so on and so forth. Let's get the crops done. He says, proceeding not to grab the seeds. 
That should be all the energy I need to get this done. Okay. How do I want to place these? Do I want to continue this that I'm doing? Do I want to place the beans along this line? I think I want to work my way slowly over towards the water. So, with that in mind... Okay, so... I guess I'm just gonna put a line of beams together. That's gonna annoy me. Future Grimoth, welcome to your problem. The future is now. I like to space those out. But apparently I've decided to commit some self-sabotage today. It happens on a number of occasions. Where here I am wanting order and chaos and efficiency and industry. I just throw up... <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. We'll refill this water again tomorrow. He says, promptly backpedaling to grab the chest, but now let's go. He says before proceeding to grab something else. Have fun, little chickens. You'd be good in there. Robin's not there. What the fuck, Robin? It's not yoga calisthenics exercise day. It's Tuesdays, right? Yeah, she's there. Here, lady. Get your fresh wood. It looks like you got the lumber I asked for. Wonderful. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh. So, she just wanted to see it. <laughs> she didn't actually take it from me, which means I gifted her a piece of lumber, which, uh... Does count as a gift for the week, and I don't think she hates the gift, but she dislikes it. You would think that she would like it. Well, I think I'm just used to Willie's like requesting, like you can keep this, or Clint being like, I just want to see it. Anyway, Robin, how's it going? <laughs> I'll take that wood back. No, okay. We wanted to build a silo. The price of a well, by the way, a thousand gold and seventy-five stone. Uh, we would need the ten clay. And we would need five copper bars, which means we would need twenty-five copper ore, which means we would need uh, an extra twenty-five copper ore to make the furnace. But only one hundred gold. Also got some times of how long that'll take. Head bowl instant. Shipping bin instant. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna say hi to your husband, Demetrius. I'm out of here. Pick up a wild horseradish. And we'll place this chest down here. Uh, sometimes you accidentally gift things to villagers. <laughs> it happens. No, my relationship points. I like her reaction, like, why? Oh, I'm gonna blame this on the zoom size. If only I'd arrange for more rainy days.
We could just not water our crops for the rest of the time. We're fishermen. Woo! That's us. Fishermen. What? Okay. There's one of them there jellies I've never seen before. Excuse me? What does that do for me? <laughs> Time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Largemouth bass. Beg your pardon? 75 energy, 33 health, and 30 max energy for seven hours? Oh. Okay. I like it. Scratching my face thoughtfully as I consider plans with this jelly. Yes, yes. Now things are beginning to make sense. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, I still got a gold one. But the experience now. Still can't place a scarecrow down until I get farming level one. I was thinking about the crops I have. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't get much experience for that, but. There's value in that. That's a good snack for, uh... I'm, oh, no, bubbles! Okay. I don't know how long those bubbles will last. I probably should have just re <laughs> 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 Okay. You know what? I don't feel bad for not just recasting. <laughs> We'll make good use of them. I'm going to catch so many more. Understood. one hand, it seems these jellies could be used for crafting things. On the other hand, I think the jelly should be put in my body. That's where jelly goes, inside my body. Source. Me. Iridium, our first iridium. Lovely. Come here, chubs. Papa needs a snack. Here I am just like starting to launch a little bit just to adjust and the fish is like, no, nah, I'm good down here. I'm like, oh, understood. <laughs> Oops. Hey, Sebastian, out here for a smoke. He's like, I heard you gave my mom the wood today. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I did. Look back over my shoulder. Without missing a beat. It's kind of fucked up, man, he says. I'm 
like, yeah. Yeah. We might hit level four on fishing before the day is done. More jellies. Hell yeah. It'll just depend on the bites we get, the speed at which we get those bites, and my performance during said bites. Look at this jelly. Bubbles! Will I, will I fall for it again? He says, promptly not committing to the bubbles. Okay, we'll just watch them. Well, time doesn't pass right here. Probably rotate to look up, but I think just what I'm going to do. Come over here and line this up to be straight. That's bad, Grimoth. There we go. Saw a little sparkle there that noted I got in the sweet spot. Maybe you didn't see it. So much easier in single player. <laughs> Ass loads of bait and rice shoots. Sure. I also gotta get used to characters pausing during my eating animations. Which means when I'm doing combat, I get used to monsters pausing while I'm eating in combat as well. Exciting times. Oh, damn it. No, the betrayal. My last bit of bubbles there at the end. Distressing. We'll get to level four. If you're on keyboard and mouse, you don't have to just use uh, left mouse button to move the green bar. I use the letter C. I'm gonna go for it. Catch that! Momentum is a thing during the fishing minigame. Amphibian fossil, geode, and ass loads more bait. Huzzah. Gunther wants that. Well, he can find his own amphibian fossil. Must have been Jojo that stole from the museum and took every book and buried them for some reason. And then everything in the massive collection. If you're like, why would Jojo do such a thing? It's so that you have to buy their products. That's why Jojo would do such a thing. Just fill it full of Jojo vending machines and Jojo Cola. I haven't gone into Saloon yet this playthrough. One day. We're doing farming business, and because I didn't earn oodles of cash with clay farming, I didn't have a need to buy coffee and salads. Move my bar up there really far so that I wouldn't accidentally catch the fish before grabbing the chest. We've, we've got a number of chests despite having poor luck today. You'll love to see it. We'll do one more cast. And then we'll head back. I should still have enough time even if this takes me an hour. As I've played this video game before. He said. Having wasted his fucking time. Okay, let's come in back with us. Not the geodes. I don't care about the amphibian fossil right now.
thingsiamgoingtosell.com. Do I want to keep the chubs for a snack? Maybe. The jellies. I could leave my fishing pole here since I don't anticipate fishing tomorrow. I can bring something else back with me. Sure, we'll do that. Where's my fishing pole? <laughs> We'll leave the 29 lumber there. Let's not brandish a fish as we keep it moving. And let's adjust my zoom here in the menu. I'm definitely not keep like keeping it just like hoard. I'm either eating that stuff or I'm slamming that stuff in the uh in the shipping bin. I'm thinking about what flavors of these iridium fish I might want to keep for future considerations. Okay. Let's bring this stuff out. We'll shuffle that around a bit. We're going to need the watering can tomorrow. Uh, like my axe on that slot. We'll do it like that. I probably have stashed these tools, though. Until I put things in my bin. Okay. So. Selling these. I'm probably keeping the chubs to eat. We're selling those. We'll sell those. You know, I don't... The UI is kind enough to tell me even before I get access to look at the bundles that I'm not going to need these. I'm choosing to believe that's true, although I can't recall whether it's something something I need to be able to see. That, but it doesn't matter. If, if I have to catch some more, then we'll just catch some more. What kind of money am I looking at here? Some... Not tons, but some. Nah, you kids are just going to stay in there. Especially you, Catfish. You think you're getting out of there so quickly? You are not. You are most assuredly not. Let me be the first to inform you. Right there. Okay. Got enough time to just go quickly refill this. 2 a.m.'s when we collapse. So long as we're in our home, it's all good. Hell, you might even be allowed to be on the farm. It's all good. Level 4 fishing. Deluxe bait. What? Okay, that's something else for me I haven't seen before. <laughs> okay, that puts us at 1800, 1900-ish. Fishies, and then some of our river jellies. Okay. Pretty rewarding day. Now, to the fifth. 